pastor recommends. Like if I offer a package like I do, I offer packages, $1.99 and above. I include the domain and everything else. I just happen to, when I register, I register in your name. Some people register in their own name. So that when you don't want to pay them monthly, guess who owns a domain? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I have been through that many times. Plus, even if it's a legit webmaster, what happens when he dies? You have to the website. Yeah, because you don't have access to the domain. I've had that happen six times Whoa. in my in my career. Oh Lord! Wow. That's and I had to go through that whole mess of getting their license, the Senate, to go down to that whole nine yards, so they can gain access to their own domain. Wow! Yeah. And when your domain's dead for a while, your business is dead. Oh, so, about you. Yeah. It's well, that just goes in all areas of our business. We never give anybody complete access to our intellectual. Property, That's all right. that stuff. They will leave you high and dry right. with your stuff. Right, but here's the problem. Most people don't know it. The most people don't know what their intellectual property is. Like, for instance, show us on the hands of the people who own their own domain name. Their name. DarnellSmith.com. I own it. You own yours? You guys, I can buy your domain name and put spam and nudie pictures and everything. I can ruin your careers. Make that happen today. But it's hard, like when you have a common name, I'm yeah, just really lucky yeah, that I was able to get my yeah. own. Yeah. So, so you want to find a common because of the meaning of it. Yeah. But if your name is not common, I have to Johnson.com. Yeah. So that's just a word of the wise. Yeah. Somebody want to want to run mess you around. Yeah. But you know when we tell people who you are, they go and Google. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Ten bucks. Yeah. And when you, if you never get to go to Addy first, it's ninety nine cents. Yeah. For the first year, and fourteen bucks later. Yeah. Put it on auto renew because if you yeah. don't, then well, well, let me tell you though about auto renew. Auto renew under GoDaddy ain't cool because they increase prices on you. Well, you just have to pay attention then. You have to have somebody no, watching that because you could lose no. your website. I don't. So other than GoDaddy, which one else? Which other ones do you recommend? Like, uh, like some of the bulk registries, you know, like, uh, uh, I don't know the names but of them, then when but you, they're, they're, they're spinoffs of them. But then when you do it and you go into something like a Bluehost or a HostGator, you have to pay a transfer fee, don't you? Well, not, not necessarily. What it is is you're buying, you're really buying your name over. Mm -hmm. So when you transfer, you're literally buying the domain again. Yeah. So that, that new day. That, that transfer, the time you transfer becomes your new start day. And yeah, day I get that, day. but I'm, yeah, so yeah. I bought them really cheap at GoDaddy, but then when I went to the, you know, the server, I had to pay a fee, so I was yeah. like, well, might as well just go on and, you know, buy it over here. But now you can use GoDaddy like I do, and then just, I, I'm, I'm on host and register, but mm -hmm. I do for some people with GoDaddy, I got GoDaddy accounts too. Mm -hmm. You can just go in and change the name server and point it to a different host. You can, you can register the name here, right. but you're hosting it over there. It's like having a phone, you know, with different carriers. Like and phone or something like that? That's exactly what it is. Okay. All right, go ahead, girl. Yes, uh, I've actually retained some. I'm yeah. impressed. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next. Now, this is how people interact with you, okay? So, like I told you, once you have this stuff set up, just save it and you can mop it later. Media. Here's another very special thing that WordPress has that nobody else has. Whenever you upload a picture, to your page, to the media. It produces three versions of it. So, because WordPress knows most people are not, uh, let me see, I mean, do a, a name. They're, they're, they're lazy. <laughs> so when they get a camera, they leave it on the highest freaking setting possible <laughs> to take a photograph. The thing is that huge on the screen. So what this does is, if it sees something that grows past these sizes, it makes a version of it that size. Uh, and fine. save the big one. So in that case, you'll have four versions of it. But at least what you have on your website, you can choose that makes your website fast. Have you ever been to a website where you go and the picture's this little, but it goes eh, eh, eh. <laughs> And then the site continues. Yeah. And because they pulled one from their camera, but they made it tiny. But the picture ain't really tiny. It's saying right. show the picture tiny, but you're loading the gigantic picture. <laughs> so you get it. All right. So there's these normal sizes. Not so to leave those alone. Okay. When we take your class to learn how to change that kind of thing. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
All right? If you ask in the chat room, then I'll show you. But I normally, not in my screen, but I normally my draw or my t-shirt. <laughs> 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 Sorry. 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 So it's public, password protected, or private, 
What that means is if it's private, only an admin can see it. If it's password protected, of course, when you click that, it asks you what the password is. So you can make your pages password protected. Okay? And of course, you can just change the date of it. You can fake people out and refresh your pages. Let's say you made some blogs and you don't have time to blog right now. Go into blog, move the data, and then come back and it looks like a new blog. And there's a plugin that'll have, that will do it automatically. It'll keep refreshing your, your, your dates. Oh, we need to see that. I need that plugin. Yeah. It, and, you, and you're searching that way. You search and say, you know, auto update dates on, you know, just say it in words and you'll find it. Where is that option? Just where the date is? Just change the date? Yeah, yeah. When you click Publish that little date, there's a little thing that opens right, up. Right, publish. But then if I go back, I can just change the date. See right there? See? Right. It opens up right there. You so can you actually, should go in and put in a lot of posts and then just make them publish, like calendar them now. Yeah. Like if you're going to go on a vacation yep. for two weeks, you can just post You them. got it. Yeah. It'll look like you've been posting. Yeah. Awesome sauce. Okay. Now inside the body right here, this is just like Word. Okay. So the first thing I do with a WordPress site is I make it a better editor. Notice that this editor looks like crap. There's not much here. Right? right. So the first thing I do is I go into plugins. I can go to the dashboard. I go here to plugins, add new plugin, and I do this. Um, let me think about it for a minute. Tiny. Tiny mice advanced. Mm -hmm. Tiny MCE, we call it tiny mice. Tiny MCE, I just install that. I just have to remember it. And I have like a list of uh, plugins that you should have. All right, now watch. Now watch my editor. I go back to where I was at and refresh this to I'm not to refresh it now. So I'm gonna say don't this relay page, I'm gonna lose it. Now look, my editor, there's other things I never had. But look, even has drop downs and everything now. So it looks that? more like Word. What's the name of that tiny uh, It's called uh, Tiny My Tiny MCE Advanced. Uh, if you don't know Tiny MCE, how much you will find? Tiny MCE. You don't, you don't even know anything. You just need to ask me and say, what do we need for that editor? And I'll tell you, Tiny MC Advanced. Yeah. And you're not about to be best free. There you go. Most definitely. And I have it when you go to my my, uh, my meetup group, I have a page on there that says, you know, all my favorite plugins. And I, and I even categorize them. Yeah, we're in the meetup. That's the cause right there get all your information. No, 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 no. Keep going. No. Look, keep going. I need to at, the end, at the end, I'll give it to you. Okay. I'm just a good stuff. I'm All ready right. to build a blog. Because we, we're here till 5.30. Okay? Is it a long? It's, no, it's not. No, no, no. It's 4.09 now. Oh, we're here at 5.00. No, no, it's supposed to be 2.00 to 4.00. No, they, no, they extended it. 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 So far. I mean, from 2.00 to 2.30. 2.00 to 2.30 to 4.00. 4.30. So we got to have a half hour. That had to continue. All right. So let me get to those list because I'm going to show you the good stuff. So there's a page, there's the editor, and this editor allows you to now upload media and also to do things like change your fonts and different things, like you can turn that all on, okay? The other thing you want to do is add one more plugin, which is called Ultimate Short Codes, okay? And we add that, or, oh, Short Codes Ultimate, I had it backwards. All right, insert that. And a short code is like a little thing that when you put the short code in, it replaces and makes all this stuff happen. I'm gonna show you how easy it is. This is just super power, makes your site super powerful. Now if we go back to that page, we'll refresh that page again. Now we'll have another little tab, see? Insert short code. Watch how, so, how good this is. Let's say I wanna add um, a YouTube video. So that I go get all the stuff or whatever. I just said, insert your code. Look at all the stuff I can add now on my page. How about a YouTube, a YouTube video? It tells you how to do it. I just need the link. It, all this control. How can you paste the link in there? All this stuff. Okay, if I get back, look. Look at all the different pretty things I can do. Look, if I go to galleries, I can add all kinds of different galleries. Different media types. Different boxes. Content. I can add even a button. You know, so that's why I'm just increasing your power. 
Search code author. All right, so that takes care of that. All right, so that's how you add a page. Once you add your pages, you need to manage the where they are in your menus. The other thing I need to tell you. So we need to go under appearance and go to menus. And you need to first create a menu. Notice it's going to try to pull in the things you've done. So we're going to, we're going to say menu one. We're going to go to create a menu. Name anything you want. And we can just, it's already going to pull in the stuff you have. But notice it has two home pages. Well, the reason why, because one of them is if someone goes to your .com, that's where it goes. But the other one literally goes to the word home. So we're going to get rid of the one that says the home, which we know is this one. If you don't know which it is, just delete everything out of there. And then just refresh this. See, you got two of them. You just want this one and that one. That second one you don't want because you know you just created that, that thing called home. You just wanted to go to your index. Okay? So add those. We put that in the menu. Let's say you need like a sub menu. You just pick it up and move it over. That's now a sub menu of the menu. You get it? So when you click on home, the blocks, if it's a sub menu, what it happens? Well, you can't really click on anything. Because this we're just setting up the menu. Okay? okay. And we want to make that the primary menu. <laughs> and some menus, some websites got multiple menus. It might say a footer menu, uh, it might have two menus. So you got to tell it what's in those menus. So let's say we just added that, right? Let's look at our website now. Looks no different, right? Home, if we click it, notice it doesn't say the word home here. Because it's just going to the index. And the index already knows the point to home. If we would do the other one, it would say whatever and put the word home, mm -hmm. which looks stupid. Okay, I know you're confused. Your eyes are not blinking. No, I mean, this is all a lot, so I'm cool. Okay, all right. You just said I need to hire somebody. Yeah. <laughs> no, I've got